make a difference to use a WDT tool in your espresso puck preparation? Well, let's try pulling two shots, one without and one with WDT. For this first shot, we didn't use WDT at all. You can see we've got a bit of an uneven onset as we start pulling our shot and the flow taking the path of least resistance and coming out more so in the back left. We've also got that little dry patch in the front right that just got filled in and then if you look really closely as we finish our shot, a little bit of channeling in the back left. It may not seem like much, but especially with espresso, those little factors make a big difference in the end result. Now let's take a look at what happens when we distribute with a WDT tool before pulling our shot. Now that we have a really nice even distribution of our coffee grounds because of the WDT, the onset of our espresso is much more even as we start pulling this shot. The flow also centers in the middle much faster, and we're not seeing any channeling going on. This shot also pulled a couple seconds slower because the water couldn't rush through any paths of least resistance that come from uneven distribution. This shot will taste so much better, and now you never have to ask,